Hi guys, so I am back with another auction haul. This is going to be the, I guess, second part to the last action footage that you saw. I still have a lot of more stuff that I need to get listed, but I also want to get this stuff cleared off my table. So I'm going to share with you more of the auction goodies, what I have them listed for, what might have bids right now, what uh, I do have a couple pieces that have sold um, since they were listed. So we're going to get into that. If I do have any time left over, I'll pull some stuff from my table of other random eBay listings that I have recently gotten listed. But I think for the most part, this will probably just be all auction stuff. So let's jump into where I left off. <laughs> uh, like I said, in my last haul video, um, I had showed one of these little mohair mice. Um, this one here is by the same artist, Deb Canham, and it comes in the box. And this one is even cuter than the last one, if that's possible. Um, she comes, this one here comes with a little laminated card, and her name is Aster, and she is numbered 162. And she's a little flower fairy. So again, another little mohair artist designed mouse. So stinking cute. She still had her price tag on. She was originally $70, but these are collectible. Um, people are looking for them. I know my other mouse and this one here do have a good bit of watchers. So I think that they will go at some point. Um, this one here I listed, I listed this one on auction because there weren't any of this particular one listed. I listed it on auction with a starting price of $69.99. So she doesn't get a bid. She'll go up as a buy it now for that price. And as far as what I paid for her, I think I averaged out the tray that she and the other one was on. I paid about $4 for. So I got that listed. Next, we have some more Norman Brum plates. Um, I do believe everything else as far as the Norman Brum plates go after this um, haul, those are all listed and then we're going to be moving on to the birds. <laughs> um, so that'll be exciting. Uh, the first plate that I have here is a yellow lady slipper. Um, so this is a smaller plate. These are all signed Brum on the back and they're all copper plates. This one here we have listed as a buy it now for $54.99. And then I have a similar one. I think this is also a lady slipper, but this one is pink. And this one is listed at the same price, buy it now. $54.99. That leads us to the next one that already sold. This one had a really cute shorebird on it. Um, that one there we listed as a buy it now for $69.99 and it did already sell. And if you guys didn't watch um, the last haul all together for the Norman Brum plates, we paid $260 for all of them and there was a bunch. All right, the next Norman Brum plate is slightly larger. I believe this is called a Trillium flower. And this one here we have listed as a buy it now for $59.99. This one here has some violets on. This one is listed as a buy it now for $64.99. This one also has some lady slipper flowers on and this one's listed as a buy it now for $64.99. This one's a really cool one. This has a Luna moth on. We did list this one high. Um, there are none currently listed and it's been a while since one has popped up. Uh, this one here we have listed as a buy it now for $149.99. This one has a really pretty butterfly on it. This one is listed as a buy it now for $64.99. This one's also listed on the higher side. This one has a gold finch bird on it and it is listed for a buy it now of $99.99. This one is another good one. It has mushrooms on it. This one is listed as a buy it now for $159.99. This one here is another Trillium flower. It looks very similar to the other one. Uh, this one's listed at the same price as a buy it now for $59.99. 
This one is a road runner bird. Um, this one is a larger plate and it is listed on the higher side. We have this one as a buy it now for $119.99. This one here is another larger one and these have chickadee birds all over the front. And this one is listed as a buy it now for $59.99. This one here has a sparrow on it and it's listed as a buy it now for $99.99. On the back of this one, it says 40 years of volunteer service. So he must have made this especially for um, someone. So we've got that one. This one has a honeybee on it and it's listed as a buy it now for $89.99. And then we also have another one that sold. This one was a yellow crown sparrow and that sold for a buy it now of $69.99. So I have some more vases and I have more vases that I need to list as well. Uh, but this one is a smaller one. Um, it's definitely older. Um, this is a cloisonne vase and it has these kind of like sparkles in it. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, they call these type of flower, or yeah, they refer to these types of vases as Meiji vases. Um, I do believe that's like the period that they were made, but it's an absolutely gorgeous vase, definitely on the smaller side. I paid approximately $12 for this vase and I listed it on auction with a starting price of $99.99. So if you guys have been watching my last hauls, um, a lot of the vases, like I did some research on them prior to bidding, but it's definitely not something that I really knew a whole lot about and I'm still learning about vases, especially these like Japanese style vases so um, I am making out really well with some of them so I'm excited about that um, all of the research that I'm doing with it like I'm you know absorbing that information so if I ever come across them again whether that be at yard sales surf stores or auctions I'll know exactly what to look for this one here is just a pretty glass vase it's like a cased cased glass and again, this one has some shimmery uh, bits in it. And there's butterflies all over. Just a really pretty little vase. I paid $8 for this one. And I put it up on auction with a starting price of $39.99. And it does have a bid. This one is what they refer to as Sato, S-A-T-O. This has cherry blossoms on it. It's got a silver rim around the top and bottom. Um, so this one here, I have a couple different ones of these in various sizes with various flowers on them. I paid approximately $30 for this vase and I put this one up as a buy it now for $99.99. .99. I'm not quite sure if it's worth that much, uh, but we'll find out. Um, if not, I will have to lower my price as time goes on. Okay. Uh, next thing we have are these, these are blue opaline milk glass candlesticks, a pair of them. These are absolutely gorgeous. So upon my research, I found out these are actually pretty old um, and they're by a company and I know I'm going to be but butchering this because I think it's French. Portio, Portio Valorous Style. <laughs> I, yeah, um, let me just show you my listing. So you guys can see exactly uh, what I'm trying to say there. <laughs> I try to be like as informative as possible, but you know I struggle with pronunciations and I apologize for that. Uh, but these candlesticks, we paid a whopping $14 for, that's it. Um, Eric just thought they were really pretty. I mean, I thought they were pretty as well, but we really didn't know anything about them, who they were made by or anything like that. So when I went to list them and I did my research, I found out who they were made by and I was kind of surprised because their stuff can sell really, really high. I listed these as the pair um, on auction with a starting price of $99.99 .99, and they do have a bid and quite a few watchers. Okay, so this next vase is, oh my gosh, absolutely stunning. This one has some koi fish on it. Um, they refer to 
these types of vases, do you see how it almost looks textured underneath? Um, these are still considered cloisonne um, vases, and what they consider that textured bits is called jinbari. So I do actually have one more of these vases, so I'm so excited about that. But absolutely gorgeous. This one is old. There is like, um, you know, a couple little imperfections to it, but it's still an absolutely gorgeous piece. I did pay $50 for this vase and I have it listed on auction with a starting price of $99.99. It has one bid and 20 watchers. So I'm hoping it goes a little higher than that, but we'll see. This one here looks very similar to that other Meiji vase. Um, it's a little bit bigger here for comparison purposes. A little bit bigger and this one has um, a dragon on as well as these like Gryffindor type birds and again I know it's kind of hard to see but there is like these um, shimmery kind of bits in there in this cloisonne vase and this one here I paid $18 for and I have this on auction with a starting price of $119.99 it does have one watcher so We'll see. It's hard to say with watchers because sometimes people just watch out of sheer curiosity and then some people watch because they want to bid. So it's hard, hard to know. So on my last haul, you had seen some of these um, Majolica plates. I had two with like a little girl playing with a ballerina doll. This was the last one I had. It's slightly larger and this one's so, so cool. It's got these two gnomes on it. And this one's actually signed on the back, made in Germany. And I'm pretty sure this VMB stands for Villeroy and Bach. So just a really cool plate. Um, I think they made these specifically to like hang them because there is some markings on the back that indicate that it was originally like hung on a wall. Uh, this one here I have on auction with a starting price of $39.99 and for the three plates I originally paid $30 for all three. Next vase again an absolutely gorgeous one. This one is gold with all of these flowers on. They refer to this style as thousand flowers and this is considered a satsuma vase and I... Hold up, <laughs> I paid $30 for this vase. I listed it on auction with a starting price of $89.99. And it does have one bid so far and 11 watchers. So again, another absolutely beautiful vase. I bid on a flat and there were only two pieces on the flat that I was really interested in. These are some older German bisque mermaid ladies these are so freaking cool so the first one i have she's just posing um like so and she is made out of bisque and marked germany here on the back with a number i paid 30 dollars for the tray that these were on and i have her listed as a buy it now for 89 dollars and 99 cents these were selling really well and then there was also another one on the tray and this one is the coolest i didn't see any listed that looked exactly like this one so this mermaid gal is laying on top of an alligator and again bisque and marked germany with a number um this one here i did put on auction since i couldn't find any quite like her let me see so I put her on auction with a starting price of $99.99. You guys know that's like my go-to number. <laughs> um, and she doesn't have a bid yet, but she does have 11 watchers. So I do think she will go um, at some point. Eric won this really sweet owl, ceramic owl, night light night light lamp uh, this is also a diffuser there's a little hole in the back of its head where you can put like some essential oil or perfume and um, as it's plugged in and it gets warm it like will emit the fragrance so it's definitely oh you can tell by the 
You can tell by the plugs on these things when they're like an older piece. So this here, he paid $20 for, and we did list it as a buy it now for $99.99. His eyes glow so cool um, when he's lit. So I won a tray of vintage glasses. I only have one pair listed so far. Uh, these ones are really quite cool. They're very mod. Um, they're green striped and just really neat pair. Um, these are older. There's no markings on them, but I found the exact same pair. Oh, and they have like the cat eye too, like the horn rim. Um, I found the exact same pair sold on Etsy for like a hundred some dollars. Um, so yeah, th this was a cool find. I paid $25 for the tray that these were on. This pair on auction with a starting price of $39.99. They do have one bid and 12 watchers. So um, it'd be kind of cool if they go for more than that. But like I said, I do have some more vintage glasses to list. Really cool um, little vase. It's green, like a tealish green. These are made in Sweden. They're marked Gust Gustafsburg, Sweden. And I got a set of two, but I listed them separately. So this little vase here, um, well, I paid $16 for the set of two. And this one here I have listed as a buy it now for $45.99. And then this one is more like a cup, really. But again, it's by the same um, company. I listed this one as a buy it now for $29.99. They're really nicely well made. This would even be like a really cute tiny planter for like a succulent or something. This was on a random tray of stuff that I won. It's this wooden carved foot ashtray. It's definitely an ashtray. There's like a little notch here, I guess, to sit your cigarette on. Um, I don't know, I love weird stuff like this. I just can't help myself. Um, like I said, this was on a tray of other wooden stuff. I plan on listing the rest of it. It's like teak kind of stuff and things like that. Um, I did pay, I think I averaged out, um, I think I averaged out everything on the tray that this would have been like about 50 cents that I paid for it. And I have this listed as a buy it now for $15.99. So you'll see some more wooden pieces as I get them listed. All right, this next piece, I just thought this was so cool. This is a wall hanging and it is artisan made. Do you see how pretty and metallic that is? It is signed on the back by the artist. Um, this was made by someone named James Klinger. It's a copper glaze. They call this Raku pottery, R-A-K-U, and it is a heron bird. We won this for $10 and I did list this on auction with a starting price of $49.99. I think it's so nicely made and you know, I don't know. I don't know if that's what it's worth, but to me, I thought that was a fair price for this piece because I think it's just really, really cool looking. Eric won a couple of these mugs. They were in their original boxes. They're by a company called the Museum Company and I will get I will get it out of the box so you can see it better. Um, these are by, it's called Chalure Master Impressionists. Um, and this one has a Van Gogh painting depicted on it. Um, so that's what the bottom looks like. They're really nice coffee mugs. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. This one has sunflowers on and they're even like on the handle. So he paid, he got three of these mugs and he paid $6 for all of them. This one here I have listed as a buy it now for $39.99. The last one sold for, I think around 50. So I feel like that's a really good deal. <laughs> but since we didn't pay much for them, I'm willing to sell it for cheaper than that. And then he also won these two. So I think these are pretty much look exactly the same they're by the same obviously same company but they have a different depiction on them 
really pretty flowers. Um, this one here is listed as a buy it now for $29.99. And then um, I'm pretty sure this one is pretty much the same. I don't think there's much difference to it than the last one. So it looks like that. And buy it now, $29.99. Next item I have to pop up because it already sold. So I won this perfume, right? It was in a lot of just some random stuff. And I don't know, people didn't bother looking up the perfume or anything like that. You guys know how I love, I love selling me some perfume, okay? So this perfume was in a gorgeous glass bottle with these gorgeous glass beads on top i mean beautifully made like impeccable designing on this it was just breathtaking really so the perfume was made by someone named elsa schiaparelli and oh my gosh her stuff can sell so well i think she also made jewelry and stuff like that and yeah very high prices on her things i paid two dollars for the lot that this perfume was in. Two bucks, guys. I sold that perfume for $299.99 and I paid two dollars. Oh my gosh, those are the kind of sales when you can take two dollars and make it $299. Like those are the sales I <laughs> live for. They can't all be that way, but oh my gosh, it's so amazing when they are. I also have this piece and I did not list it. I bought this for myself because I gotta, I've gotta be able to keep some things, right? Um, it's this little cat. <laughs> it's this little ceramic cat and it is like a lidded jar. It doesn't have any markings on it. I have no idea if it's old, who made it. If anyone recognizes it, let me know. Um, I couldn't find, I couldn't find it anywhere, so I have no, no clue, but I fell in love with it, and I paid $12 for it, so it's gonna go into my curio cabinet, um, with my decorating, um, in the off season. I do want to start hitting up some antique stores and looking for some vintage Valentine's Day stuff. I don't really decorate for valentine's day but i kind of want to start so <laughs> i wanted to look for some valentine stuff um and then the only other thing i really had to share with you guys um from the auction at least for this haul there will be more auction hauls it probably won't be the next video because i want to do some other videos other than just auction stuff um back to back but these were on a tray these were on a tray of stuff that I won. I don't even know. I didn't list these. I don't know if they're worth anything. I'll have to look them up. Um, they're marked Ironstone China. Powell something, England, is the maker's mark on the back. So it's just these little, like, square... Um, I don't know if these would be for, like, dip. <laughs> like, some sort of dip. I don't know. But there's like a couple of them. I'll have to look them up and see if they're worth anything. If not, um, I'll probably just put them aside. But it was for like a, like a stack of them. And then these were also on a tray. And I promise too, I said in my last haul, I think, um, maybe it wasn't the last one. But next time I have like a pretty decent sized box lot that I win at an auction, I'm going to go through it um, on camera with you guys. Uh, but these are just some old sewing needles um just figured i'd sh share them with you guys um i don't know if these are worth anything i didn't look them up I mean, if anyone knows if like old sewing stuff is desirable at all i could probably make like a little lot this one is sunbeam bread oh how cute is that little sewing um set and then this is not anything. It doesn't go with anything. It's just a tag of something. Uh, but that is, what are, what are we at here? We're at 36 minutes. Um, 
I'll probably edit this down slightly with my looking of things up. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to end it here and we will do like a regular random haul at some point. But um, I do have to get a cha-ching up. I went to a rummage sale today. It wasn't very good, but I did get a couple of things there. So I'll probably have a rummage sale video at some point. And as well as um, Eric and I purchased some unclaimed mail um from a local person in our area so we we did an unboxing of that stuff it was like miss like a mystery type thing um so you'll see that video as well uh but yeah that's everything for this one i hope you guys enjoyed it you'll have to let me know what you thought down in the comments and i will see you next time